guys welcome back to my channel today is another DIY video like you saw in the intro today we are going to be doing the DIY fall reef and you are going to need three things today you're going to need wire cutters or like I will be using tin snips decorations like the flowers I had put on my reef and your reef base itself so let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to take the flowers off my old wreath so that I can place the new flowers on. This should be fairly simple depending on what is on your wreath and what you have to take off of it. If though, For those who did not watch my previous DIY wreath video, I simply found my base at a local thrift store and it had decorations on it and I took those decorations off so I could reuse the base. Usually Goodwill is great place to find things to transform. So I would definitely recommend hitting that up first before you were to go to any craft store and buy the base because they can get quite expensive. So let's go ahead and just take off the flowers. Almost done! Okay, so this flower was from the original reef itself and I'd actually kept some of them on there. So this is where the wires clips come in handy because if you did buy, like me, a pre- made reef you're gonna you might have to snip pieces off of it because it's woven in with the reef itself so i'll go ahead and snip those off all right so now we have our plain reef as you can tell so you should have something similar so let's just go ahead and get started with the decorating. So before we actually get to the decorating part, I wanted to just go with you what I have purchased to decorate my fall wreath with. And I simply just have a, a range of different kinds of flowers and some of these cool little beaded things. I picked my fake flowers up at Deals. It is very similar to a Dollar General or a Dollar Store. They were very inexpensive and something that I will be able to reuse in other fall decorations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. What you are going to need to do is remove the flowers from the stem. Unless you plan on somehow putting the whole stem into your wreath. So what I will do here is I will go ahead and take my wire cutters or my tin snips and I will simply just snip these all off individually so that they are easier to work with. And I will do a couple from each bundle and then I will save the rest in case I don't end up using them and then maybe I could use them for something else on their whole stem. Okay, so now that that process is done, I can go ahead and take my pieces and start to weave them into my wreath. So this is really just simple. If you, you can really just do whatever you want with this kind of wreath. This is your design. This is how you want it. So basically what I do is I just eyeball it. I kind of have somewhat of an idea of how I want my wreath to look, how full I want it to be, and where I want my flowers. So I will just start to place them and fill them in as I feel is needed. So let's just go ahead and get started. And as you can tell, I am just simply 
pushing these into the wood pieces here so that they just blend in. It's very simple, very easy to do it this way. Some of you may feel the need to hot glue some of these pieces and that is perfectly fine, but just because of simplicity reasons, I don't feel that I need to do that with this um, particular wreath. Okay, so I'm finding that some of these piece stems are still too long, so just trim them as you need to. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. Um, really, this is just your own creation, so, you know, make it how you want it. The great thing about these stemmed, also these wire stemmed flowers, is that they're bendable. So you can really kind of manipulate them how you want them to look on your wreath. Okay, as you guys can tell, I have made some progress. Like I said, this really does not take that much time. It's just a matter of where you want to strategically place your flowers to make your wreath look how you want it, whether you want it to look full or bare. And so I still have flowers left, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to just place them on my wreath, and I will show you guys the finished product. So here is my finished product. I am so very excited with how this came out. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to fill the whole thing or if I was going to leave some of the wood left um, visible, but I did go ahead and just fill the whole reef. So if you guys want to go ahead and come along with me, we'll go and hang it on my door and see how it looks. All right, so let's go. Guys, here Daisy. She thinks somebody's here. Okay. All right. So, what do you guys think? I love it. Okay, guys. So, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this DIY reef tutorial. I just am so in love with how it came out. If you um, are out there and you're like, hey, I'm going to do that, please show me your pictures. Tag me in them on Instagram, Twitter. I would love to see them. And like always, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you can be part of the family. And I will see you guys at my next video. Bye.